Hey, this is Sean Kelly with Trimetrics. We're going to do a quick video on group test capability with the RA660 and the Hercon software. So once again, right now we're at the launch screen. So when you first fire up the software, this will be what you're looking at. If we go up to audio metrics, audio testing. So right now we have two audiometers plugged in. If you had eight, you'd have eight separate tiles here. So every audiometer populates as a tile. Uh, with the group test on the group on the RA660, you can hot swap the instruments. So right now I'm going to unplug an audiometer, and then it goes back to the single test view. So if you were doing single station testing only, this is the only screen you'd see. And then as soon as you plug in a second audiometer, then it goes back to the tile view. So this will be our, our kind of home screen here. So this is our audio metrics, audio testing. So first thing, if we want to do our, our daily checks, so we can right click. So we have daily checks and daily checks all. Daily checks would be daily checks for just the audiometer you were hovering over. So for us, it was the audiometer on the left. Daily checks all would be for every audiometer you have plugged in. So we'll go daily checks all quick. So here we can start our daily bios if we want. We can start all listening checks. We can run all those daily daily procedural checks. So let's say we wanna we wanna do some testing. So we can right click here. So we can select an employee. So we'll go Sean Kelly. So when you select somebody, it pulls their baseline into the booth. We could also right click and we could say add employee. So we could say I'm just hitting tab to cycle between these. Company, we could say Trimetrics, Eden Prairie. So now we've got two employees in the booth, so we can right click. So we could do new test, which would be just for the booth we we're hovering over. We could also do start resume all. So right now we have all the tests running at once. So playing message. So the RA660 does voice instruction in multiple languages. So right now it's playing the message. You're about to take a hearing test, press and release the hand switch. And then now our test is starting. So you can see over here, we just started at 30 because there was no baseline present. This one, we had a baseline present and it started right around where the baseline was. So you can see we have a progress bar up here too. So 7% of the test is completed. So this really shines uh, the further along you get or the more people you have in the booth. If you have if you have six booths running and everybody's around 60%, maybe you have one guy around 20, you know the one with 20 is probably the one you should be paying attention to. We can pause the test. We can do talk over. We can do talk over all. So if we want to just talk to the guy in this booth, we could enable talk over. Okay, we did a little time lapse, let some of the tests go on. So you can see now, so we have 57% done over here, which is because the baseline's so high. And then uh, over here, we're almost 80% done with, uh, with booth two. If you want to toggle between views, let's say you want to get a better look at booth one, you can click on the green bar up top, and then it'll blow up that view a little bit. You can also minimize it again and go back to this view. We could blow up booth two if we want. And then we can also go from here to the other booth. So you see up here, we're watching booth two. You still have this minimized view of what's going on with booth one. So we could click this green bar here too and go right to booth two. So you, uh, you can navigate those menus pretty much however you see fit. So this test is about to complete. The reason you see the values you do is uh, the RA660 run, it can run a demo mode. So we're pretty much simulating a test so we don't have to put anybody in a booth. So we can see this test just wrapped up. If we come over here, uh, we have a mimic mode. So what this does is until booth one is done, we're just playing dummy tones in the headset of booth two. So if you had eight people, you can set it so that it, it's not going to let anybody out of the booth until everybody's complete. We can also more or less sidestep it. So let's say... If we want to end the test now, we can play end a test message. And then now it's telling the guy in the booth in booth two, test is complete, take off the headset, all that, even though booth one's still going. So you can uh, you can set it so nobody can get out, but you can also override it if uh, if that situation comes up.